Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. Back by popular demand, people say to me, James, I like it when you make Mason guess what a movie is from its review, but I wish you'd have something focused on what many consider to be the most charismatic and biggest man in the world. Gilbert Gottfried. Mason. Bless him, RIP. Bless him, RIP. Uh, under different circumstances, yeah, we could do a Godfrey-a-thon, a version of <laughs> yeah. this. But this week, of course, we're talking about Dwayne the Rocked Johnson. That's it. That's what we're going with. Dwayne the Rocked Johnson. <laughs> That's right. Is that a? He's always rocked our world, Mason. Is that a home brand version of Dwayne the Rock Johnson? Is that like the uh, the Asylum Entertainment version? Like if your your grandma would go and get your Transmorphers on DVD. <laughs> You're telling me there wouldn't be a guy like that in the Asylum mm. film averse? No, there absolutely would be. Yeah. Yes. The Stink Bug King. <laughs> I want some movies in the Stink Bug King <laughs> franchise. But go on, all right. So the idea behind these is I read Mason an insane review or a humorous review or a fake review, I don't know, from Letterboxd, and it's mm. normally very savage. And then he has to guess what the movie is from. Please play along at home. Uh, there's going to be a counter in the corner oh, if yeah. you want it. See if you can beat Mason at his own game. I don't like this. A game that he invented, I just want to point out. I didn't invent it. I've never invented anything. <laughs> Additional rules for people who don't know. Perhaps they're new to the franchise. Sometimes the movie's just Joker. Sometimes it or is, Or High Mason. School Musical. Sometimes. Yeah. I like to start easy on these. Oh, okay. How about this? It's like Die Hard. But in a building. Oh, uh, well, we're familiar with that one because we have both watched and reviewed that for our podcast, The Weekly Planet. Yep. That movie is called Skyscraper, I that's think. That's right. It's uh, got one leg. That's right. Yeah. Rare moment of vulnerability for The Rock. Not really. No, I mean, he does, he does that big jump, doesn't <laughs> yeah. he? That's about this one. Oh, yeah. We're keeping it simple. Uh, Arnon says, I would have simply asked the earthquake to stop. That's just me, though. Oh, well, that is a movie we've also seen and reviewed. <laughs> that is the movie San Andreas, right? Correct, Mason. And I'll tell you what, I was thinking, oh, yeah, the, the movie Skyscraper, also featuring Alexandra Daddario from uh, The White Lotus. Mm. And, but no, she's actually in San Andreas. I was confusing the two movies. She absolutely is. You're yeah. right. So that's not a great start. I mean, I got them right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's pure luck that I got them both no, no, right. No, I think let's not sell yourself short. This is from Jack who says, in awe at the size of this lad, absolute unit. My goodness. Yeah. I'll give you a clue. Oh, yeah. They're not talking about The Rock himself. So he's oh. in a movie with an absolute unit of a lad. Kevin Hart? Maybe. There's a Whoa, few of those. There are there? a few of those. There's it's League of Super Pets. There's yeah. Central Intelligence. Mm. There's a third one, probably. There's definitely a third one. Now, I've actually let you open IMDb as well, haven't I? Yes. So you can have a peruse through The Rock's 103 movies. But there is, is it the movie Rampage? <laughs> it is. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Plenty of units in that movie, my friend. You are crushing it it's this week. It's probably the gorilla or the wolf <laughs> with wings, the winged wolf. Yeah, the winged-handed wolf. Yeah. This is from Ronnie who says, Where's Thin Quickly? But it further proves my theory that The Rock was a better actor before he went bald. He's here actually playing a character as opposed to the blank canvas of surface-level charisma he's known for nowadays. All right, well, I'm going to have to scroll way back for this. Absolutely. Uh, before he shaved his head, let's have a look. I mean, are we including... You, so you, you're you're of the camp that The Rock isn't bald that he shaves his head? That's correct, yes. Okay, okay, that's mm, good. That's right. Mm. My goodness. He was in Get Smart, my goodness. Yeah, he I was. remember that, yeah. He's, a vill he's actually a villain in that. Yeah. Steve Carell beats him up, I think. Mm. <sighs> Ooh. Look, here's a few options. Look, my my I think we've mentioned this before to ourselves. Yeah. And now to the world. My favourite The Rock movie might be The Rundown, also starring Sean William Scott. He yes. goes into the jungle. Uh, it's also called Welcome to the Jungle in other parts mm. of the world, but not the movie Jumanji. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the jungle, jungle, yeah. Which is different. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and very different characters. <laughs> I'm going to guess. <laughs> so ooh, different. Ooh, there's a few options here. I was going to say be cool. Yeah. But I'm going to say walking tall. Great guess, Mason. It was actually the rundown slash welcome to the jungle. Not Damn the it. Jumanji, not the Jumanji wow. one. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Well, in that case, I spiritually I won that round. No, you didn't. That's a rare miss for you, though. Is it? I don't know. Yeah. What about this one? <laughs> okay, you go get on. this one. This is an absolute gimme, but I, I could not help but put it in because I liked it so much. It's from Mike, who says, The sexy dance between Gal Gado and The Rock felt like watching a Border Collie meet a dolphin. Brutal. <laughs> But that's the movie, the most the most popular movie, I think, maybe in the world. We're, we're watching it right now, aren't we? Everybody's watching it right now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a movie, probably. Mm. I actually haven't seen it. How about this one? It's from PT99. Samoan sociopath. Oh, one star, by the way. Oh, no. Uh, Samoan sociopath creeps into homes to violate human body parts, administering anesthetic drugs before fleeing into the night. What? <laughs> yes. I have no memory of this movie Is at it all. Is one of his rare villainous 
performances. Villainous. Well, I'm going to say it's probably earlier in his career, mm. right? I'm, I'm going to, and it's probably not fighting with my family, that uh, family film about... Uh, yeah. uh, fighting with a family. Fighting with a family and, and, and pro wrestling, unless that gets real weird towards the end. Yeah. James, is that something he does in the movie Southland Tales? Great question. Uh, no, that's actually from the movie The Tooth Fairy. Oh, that's very good. Thank that's you. Sneaky, sneaky. Thank you so much. Does he do that? Is he pulling people's teeth out? Well, he's the tooth fairy, so presumably. I don't know. I've never seen it. I'm too mm. busy watching Red Notice. <laughs> that's right. Oh, that reminds me. If, if I get any of these wrong, it's because I'm watching Red Notice. <laughs> How's about this one? The Rock is so hot with hair, but I like him more as a bald person. Since people have different opinions on The Rock. They sure do. And also whether he shaves his head or he's just bald. Mm. It's okay to be just bald, though, but you don't think he's just bald. You think he's doing it on I purpose. Think he has, I think he has to shave his head in between uh, takes <laughs> on a movie set because his hair's grown at such a rate. <laughs> So your options there are very limited. Yeah. He's always be shaving his head now. They might be saying they prefer him with hair like he is in other movies. I can confirm for you, Mason, that this is a movie where, in fact, does have hair. Oh, is it Hercules? It is Hercules. Yeah. Jesus. That's right. Very good. Mm -hmm. How about this? Because I remember he had hair. You do. You should get this one. Half a star by Apollo Crafts. I like to think Apollo Creed with boxing gloves doing crochet. Oh, that's you know? beautiful, yeah. Yeah. Before he was killed. Yeah, before he... <laughs> he was distracted in the ring, and that's how he got killed. <laughs> he was too confident. Home sweet. Ow! <laughs> ah, I'm being punched to death. Uh, Michael Bay is such a dickhead. Wow. Yeah. Um, gosh. I mean, come on. It's Michael Bay. Yes. It's got the rock in it. See, when I, whenever you mention the name Michael Bay, I just... I just feel an intense pain in my head, like somebody's putting a needle in my ear. Yeah. So I just sort of blank out a little bit. Um, I'll give you a clue. Yes. Uh, there's another famous action star in it. A couple of famous action stars. Oh. Icons. Whoa. Oh, it's Pain and Gain. Uh, it's actually the movie The Rock. Oh. Uh, starring Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage. Because it's got The Rock in it. That's funny. Yeah. No, do you know what I mean by that, though? That's it's funny. Not a, it's not a technicality. I... Mm. This actually built this whole thing around that review. Oh, that's actually very clever. <laughs> Thank you. How's about this? Uh, it's by Kate Leith, who says, An airport chicken sees a wrap of a film. Wow. Yeah. Mm. So it's been there a little bit too long. It's, yep. it's a little stale. It's like, oh, I recognise this, but I don't like it in this particular package. Oh. This feels repurposed and bland and boring. Is it G.I. Joe Retaliation? Oh, great guess, but it's actually Jungle Cruise. Oh, that is, okay, yeah. Yeah. Big big Disney head over there. Been on that ride a few few times more than necessary. I no think. doubt, yeah. Well, get over it. Get over it. <laughs> it's a multimedia extravaganza now. <laughs> Now, it pains me to tell you this, but did you know that right now you are vulnerable to attack? Not like being punched or whatever. I mean, maybe, I don't know, keep your head on a swivel, but I'm talking about a man-in-the-middle attack for when you're connecting to Wi-Fi. So this man-in-the-middle, right, it usually presents as something like free Wi-Fi on one of your devices, and you're like, wow, okay, free Wi-Fi, and you hook in, and you're like, yeah, free Wi-Fi, but then bam, you've been breached. Most hacking nowadays, it's shockingly simple stuff, but also incredibly effective. And this happens via credential stuffing. Say, for example, you've been using your usual email address and the password that you always go by. Oh, I don't know, for lack of a better example, James is a cool guy, one, two, three. And you put that into a website that's not maintained and it gets compromised. That means your username and password will more than likely end up on the deep web or hacker forums alongside thousands of other user credentials. And from there, if you haven't been careful, they can then use that information to access all your other accounts, Amazon, Netflix, various awful social media platforms, the works. Now I've tried my fair share of VPNs, let me tell you that. And let me also tell you that NordVPN has made it easier and safer to navigate things like this and the internet in general through the click of a button. Among the many benefits, it protects you from malicious sites, downloads, trackers, and intrusive ads, plus it has a strict no logs policy. That means they don't track, collect, or share your private data. They consider that none of their business. And the advantage is, it's not just protection. You can also watch shows on streaming services that aren't available in your country or region, or perhaps even engage in peer-to-peer -peer sharing anonymously, all with some of the best internet speeds that you're gonna find on any VPN service. So I encourage you, take control of your internet experience today with NordVPN. 
And right now you can get a two-year plan at a huge discount plus four additional months for free when you go to nordvpn.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies. It's also risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. That's nordvpn.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies or just click the link in the description below. Uh, how's about this one? By Merrick who says, My favourite part was when Dwayne The Rock Johnson starts off the final battle in a traditional Samoan garb, but when it starts to get serious, he takes off the skirt to reveal he has cargo pants on the whole time. Oh and then he conjured the tightest, least functional shirt of all time and proceeded to one arm hold a helicopter in place with a chain. Absolutely <laughs> vile and repulsive shit. Okay, well, that really <laughs> could be just any Instagram post that The Rock puts up. He's sure. constantly doing that sort of stuff and holding down helicopters with one hand, just as part of his regular workout routine. Yeah, yeah. But I believe it's Fast and the Furious Presents, Hobbs and Shaw. That's right. I also like this review from Liz who says, turned it off once it was confirmed that F9 does not acknowledge this film. Oh. That's why I go to the Fast and Furious franchise because I want them to acknowledge the movie Hobbs and Shaw. That's for me personally. You want consistent continuities. That's all, that's all they're yeah, after. I'm right? a regular person. Mm. How about this one? Watched by Bunny Man, who says, There's a part where some fat guy gets his dick stuck in a bench, and the joke is that his dick is huge, and I just shut the movie off. This movie is made for dummies. Okay, first of all, it's <laughs> some guy. It's John Bass. Okay. Delightful character actor John Bass, and the movie is Baywatch. You've seen Baywatch? I've seen Baywatch, yes. Incredible. Yeah. Is it one of those movies where, why did they make this comedic improv movie with no comedians in it? Right. <laughs> I mean, there's some, but like a yeah. bunch of the leads are. It's yeah. not the worst movie I've ever seen. I doubt it. <laughs> How about this? By Harmony, who says, A literal wooden beam had more screen time and character development than the love interest. Oh, dear. A wooden beam? Yeah. You're going to know this. You're going to be like, oh, of course. Oh, a wooden beam. I'm going to guess Pain and Gain again. Mason, it's the movie Walking Tall. Oh, yeah. He just got that wooden beam. Yeah, it's more of a two by four, though, isn't it? I guess it is. Mm. Mm. Did you ever see Walking Tall 2, Kevin Sorbo? Keep walking? No. Yeah, you better keep fucking walking, Keep mate. walking, Sorbo. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see that, no. How's about this one, Mason? This is by Jones McBones. Love it. This movie was so bad that it made me want to become the Joker. Oh, is it League of Super Pets? It's the movie Joker, Mason. Oh, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I, get, I handed you that one. I disagree. Joker's not even in League of Super Pets. Oh. They're saving it for the sequel of the which they'll never make because it didn't do that well where they're like, oh, the Joker's dog is here or whatever. How's about this one? Oh, yeah. Two left. Oh. Oh, so High School Musical and Joker again. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Parker who says, you can tell The Rock is a very talented and charismatic dude because this movie would have killed anyone else's career. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. So a bad one. A bad one. Okay. And if it's killing a career, that yeah. speaks to me as something that happened early on. Does, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Would you uh, Would you say it's a movie that I quite like, but you found to be quite average? <laughs> it's the Scorpion King. It is. It is the Scorpion King. Very right? good. Mm -hmm. And last one by Mickey, who says, I wouldn't rank this movie anywhere near the top of my favourite Eastwood films. Scott Eastwood? Oh, he might be onto something here. Oh, is it a Fast and Furious movie, but the one that Scott Eastwood is in, which I think is, um, <laughs> is it? <laughs> he's got to roll the dice. Uh, which is it? Because uh, he's in eight, but he's also in. Is he? Yeah, he's in eight. It's Fate of the Furious. Uh, actually, this is the movie Escape from Alcatraz, which also features The Rock. Oh, uh, that's Clint very Eastwood good. is in that movie. That's and, good stuff, And it's James. centered around. You've got a certain dry <laughs> wit about you, <laughs> which I enjoy. <laughs> Tally him up, Lawrence. What happened to Ben? Is he dead? Ben doesn't do these. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ben's not dead. Oh. <laughs> You've done so many of these, you don't even know, Mason. You don't even know. Anyways, if you liked these and you like the torture that I bestow on Mason, uh, please leave a suggestion. We've done ones for Star Wars, Marvel movies, DC movies, good movies, bad movies. Leave a suggestion. This one wasn't a suggestion. This was my idea, which makes me think I'm the one out here pulling all the weight, doing all the work. Yeah. It's like I'm the husky at the head of the pack and all the other huskies are dead. Yeah, but sometimes I get a thing wrong that I'm not interested in and I have to pretend to be sad about it. And that's acting, man. And that's, you that know, is acting. that's worth a lot, I think. And The Rock's good at doing that, isn't he? Yes. He's like, I'm sad I lost my leg and family or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sad my wife left me, but I'll get her back by the end of the movie. I'm sad John Bass got his dick caught in this bench. <laughs> Uh, anyways, we also have a place you can go to called BigSandwich.co where there's early videos, bonus podcasts, movie commentaries, all of that. But if you're like, fuck all that, I just want to listen to your podcast. Well, you can. It's called The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. comes out every Monday on many a platforms found across the web, including YouTube. And let's go, Mason. 
Let's go think about what we've done. Okay. Okay, thanks everyone. Okay, bye.